Hi everyone, welcome to my video today, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I wanted to talk about how you can become stronger than even the strongest and most powerful dark energy. So first of all, what do I, what do I mean by a dark energy? So to start off, this can be any kind of thing in the spirit world um, that is attacking you, or anything in the physical world that is psychically attacking you. So this is not about, you know, if you're 5'2 and 100 pounds, how you can beat up someone who's 7 feet tall. It's more about, on a spiritual level, how you can become stronger than even the most powerful dark energy. So my solutions to these types of things are always going to be simple, but they're not easy to um, do consistently, but that's just doing the work is doing things consistently and working on yourself. So here are some tips so that you can become stronger than even the most powerful dark energy. So how strong you are and how powerful you are, if you're choosing to be um, in the light and not in the darkness and you choose love over um, power and control over others. So if you're choosing to try to be a better person, um, this is directly how much power you have is directly proportional to how much suffering you can take on without um, retaliating and taking revenge. So there's a difference between standing up for yourself and taking revenge. Standing up for yourself is telling someone to stop, moving yourself from a situation, or doing what you have to do to defend yourself if you're being attacked without you know, attacking back. So um, why does this matter? So when you're, when you're doing things that are with, when you're doing things that are bad, for you know, lack of a better word, um, of course the intention behind it has to be bad. So if you really hurt someone but you didn't mean to, um, you're not going to be punished for that. There's not going to be some kind of karma for that because you didn't do it on purpose. So this is really more about your intention and how you are... Um, treating people around you. So why does suffering create power? Because when you're taking on the suffering and you're not um, retaliating in any way, you're becoming stronger because you're learning how to carry a heavier load and how to heal yourself through that pain. But you're not putting out that uh, negative intention or darker intention into the world. So what happens is that the way that you can become stronger than any dark energy out there is just by not doing bad things that you, that you feel are bad. So if you're stealing something, but you're doing it because you're, you know, trying to save someone's life or something like that, that's not what I mean. I mean, doing things that you know are bad and do, doing things that are causing suffering to others intentionally is a better way to put it. So if, you, if you're never doing things to others that are causing suffering intentionally, then you're safe spiritually and karmically because those, those things aren't going to come back to uh, bite you later on. So what, ha what happens when we do things to um, either retaliate or try to cause someone else suffering is that we basically open ourselves up to that same... Um, karma or that same um, cause and effect coming back to us. So if you don't like the word karma, you can just do, you know, cause and effect or equal and opposite reaction type of energy, type of idea. So um, when, you're, when you're being attacked in some way and you're choosing to heal yourself, stand up for yourself, defend yourself, but not causing suffering in return, there's no way for the dark energies, the darker energies to, to, come, to come for you because you have lived a spiritually um, higher energy. You've lived a more, a lighter life where it's more pure and you're choosing the light of yourself over that control and power over others. So there's no opening for them to to come um, attack you. So after, you know, becoming more aware of the years, before I, I, before I was aware of this stuff doesn't, doesn't really apply as much, but after I became aware of it, you know, there have been times when I've, 
when someone has done me wrong and I've retaliated with some kind of like psychic attack. Obviously, I'm not proud of that. And, you know, it only had didn't happen very often. But what would happen to me after that was that I would have to sit and be in that person's energy and feel how I made them feel um, before that for that kind of energy to that karma to be balanced or the cause and effect or equal and opposite reaction to be released. So another time um, I did this thing where I violated free will. So I put up a bubble around this energy vampire so that they couldn't, um, so they couldn't drain anyone out like anyone. And I do this all the time. I put up bubbles around people and set the intention specifically for them not to drain me because that's just self-defense. But when, when I did it so that it, I didn't let them drain anyone, that was a violation of free will because those people that they otherwise would have drained didn't consent to me doing that. And I can't, you know, get everyone's consent in the entire universe. It's a violation of free will. So what happened was that I got attacked by a darker, more powerful energy that took me a while to get rid of until um, it wasn't actually attached to me. It was just following me around, but I could still sort of feel it there. So that was a big lesson for me when I learned that when I do things like that, that violate free will or, or cause someone suffering, even if I'm thinking I'm doing the right thing, if I'm violating that free will, then that's going to come back to, um, that's going to have an equal and opposite reaction and open me up to something darker um, negatively affecting me. So another... Another good way to um, protect yourself from these things and become more powerful is just having, you know, complete faith or as much faith as you can in whatever um, you believe in, whether that's a, go a God, a higher power, just any kind of thing that you just have complete faith that um, in, in this light, in this protection, in something, you know, greater than yourself, something that's light that you're always... Um, aligning yourself with because that way when you're aligned to the light and you're not doing bad things for healing your, yourself you're taking on the suffering without retaliating which is you know <laughs> really difficult sometimes but when you're doing all these things the dark things can affect you cannot affect you because they have no way to get in they can't tempt you towards the darkness because you're already focused on the light they can't um, negatively affect you when you haven't done dark things or done, you know, the, had these negative intentions that you acted on. So there's no way for them to kind of get in to your energy. So of course, um, if you're already, if you've already been psychically attacked and you're weak, your energy is weaker, you're going to have to heal and do all these things and work on um, your energetic defenses and boundaries and all those things before you're able to kind of get to that point. So that's a lot of other things that I talk about, which is like how to clear yourself of negative energy, remove cords, things like that. Um, <clears throat> but this is more so talking about once you've found your center and you've, um, your balance within your own energy, how do you, what if, you know, a dark attack just comes out of nowhere and you can't take it? Well, this is why that's not gonna happen as I described in the video, in this video. So thanks for watching today. I hope this made sense. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them below and I will see you next time. Bye.